Hi everybody, my name is Edwin from the St. Paul's University eLearning Center. Uh, in this video today, we are going to take you through uh, how to access your eLearning portal, how to access your learning materials, uh, how to upload your cards, and how to take part in chats and discussion forums that have been opened by your lecturers. Welcome. Uh, to access the e-learning portal, you need to use an um, internet browser. You can either opt to use Firefox uh, browser, the Internet Explorer, uh, Opera Mini, or Google uh, Chrome. In today's demonstration, we are going to use the Google Chrome. So I come and open my link to Google Chrome. And then at the address bar here, I type um, the link to the university e-learning portal, which is https, a full colon, two forward slashes, e-learning at dot spu dot ac dot ke and it opens a window like the one shown here uh, it will prompt you to enter your student number uh, and a password at this point it's important to note that your student portal password is the same password you're going to use for the e-learning portal uh, on this home page still we have um, a, sec a section uh, at the bottom of the page here which has the e-learning portal user manual which you can refer to if the demo is not enough it has all the information that we are going to uh, we are going to pass on to you in the in the demonstration that we are currently doing uh, so i put in my my staff number which is that and then i put in a password which is that and then I click enter or login. Uh, you can decide to save the password to your browser so that every time you open your e-learning portal, you don't have to type it again. Uh, but you need to be very careful that your machine or you are, you must be very careful uh, to, you must ensure that you're not using a public uh, computer for that. Uh, so for me, I'm not going to, to save it for security uh, measures. Um, once you open the e-learning portal, this is what uh, you will find um, with several links up here, which is the home, the dashboard, the events, uh, my courses, the library, uh, Bible study, counseling, and the news and announcements. In today's video, we are mainly going to concentrate on how to access your learning materials, how to upload your cart, and how to take part in the various activities given by your lecturers. Uh, so <coughs> to access the notes for the units that you have been registered for, you use the My Courses tab down here. Once you highlight or you place the cursor at that point, it will list down for you all the courses that you have registered for in this or in a given semester. So uh, let's for instance say we want to access the notes for the unit DMA 108. I'll click on that and it opens a window that uh, looks like this. On this end, you will find um, the announcement bit which has a few announcements from the lecturer. Uh, there are also some notes that were uh, uploaded at some point. And then uh, down here, you find the notes uploaded on a week by week basis. So let's say for instance, you've just joined the class and you want to look at the course outline. Uh, what you do as the student, you click on that uh, course outline and it will automatically open on your machine and you're able to read through the course outline because it opens as a PDF document. Um, after you've gone through the course outline, you now want to read the notes for the first topic which is Introduction to Information Systems. Uh, you click on that link again the course will open or the document will open in form of a PDF and it has all the information that the lecturer has uh, deemed necessary to have in chapter one that is the introduction to information systems. Um, you do that for the rest of the topics that are, are up there 
or uh, in the e-learning portal you just click on the document itself and it opens directly uh, on your browser you can download that and save it into your machine by using this uh, download option here once you highlight that you see it's the download option and uh, you can also print but uh, we have locked our notes from printing we can we are not able to print them but you are able to save them as pdf documents which you can read at your own time so you don't have to only read your notes when you are on the e-learning portal you can download them and save them in your machine uh, so that you're able to access them at any given point um, to upload your card or to submit your assignment uh, all assignments on the e-learning portal are, are denoted by this uh, icon and most of them will either be named as cut one or assignment one but to note is this uh, icon here so to upload a cut or to view the cut you click on it and uh, it opens uh, such a document then we use or we click on the document here that is saved as the pdf uh, we click on that and it automatically downloads on your machine once you are done with the cut uh, which you do either as a word document you can either upload a word document or a pdf document uh, to upload your assignment you come to this point here of add a submission you click on it once you click on it it opens this window here where we have two options you can either directly add a file or you can create a folder uh, but for now we are going to work on the add a file option uh, you click on that it will open the file picker for you and uh, you click on upload a file then you come to this attachment part and click on choose a file once you choose a file it will open for you uh, your computer uh, location where you usually save your documents uh, let's say for instance uh, the document I want to upload is this one that I've called uh, that of first September 2019 I'll click I'll highlight that and then click open it is automatically uploaded to the file picker here and then uh, you can either decide to name it let's say for instance you want to call it um, cut one submission you uh, put it you put the name uh, there then the other if uh, it's you or somebody else you're using somebody else's machine then you need to change the other here to yourself and then you upload you click on upload this file once you do that your file is automatically on the submission box uh, so you click on save changes and then your work will be submitted on the e-learning portal for the lecturer to grade once you upload your work on the e-learning portal uh, the e-learning portal sends you an email notification on your student email uh, account uh, the other thing we're going to look at is how to take part in uh, chats uh, we go back to the first course there uh, we go back to the first course there and chats in this forum or in the e-learning portal are denoted by this icon um, you click on that uh, you click on that uh, link for the chat and you will find uh, you find such a window which has three options uh, you use the first one which is click here to enter the chat now so if we click there it opens another small window here and from here it gives you an option to uh, put in your comment so in this case the chat room is um, the importance of management information systems to businesses so after you've done your research probably you found out that one of the importance is that it helps businesses uh, in uh, in managing the data so you just type your response here MIS helps businesses manage their data and you can probably put in especially on clients to help them identify their loyal customers 
and this data can be used for reward or customer reward schemes by the organization customer reward reward schemes by the organization once you've put in your feedback you just need to just need to click on send and your feedback will be sent to the group chat uh, to quit you just need to close this uh, small window that opened once we activated the chat so in the last part of our video today we are going to look at how to take part or participate in a forum and uh, in some instances you'll find a lecturer has opened a forum for the class and the forum is usually uh, shown by this icon here so to get into the forum uh, like this forum is uh, called the importance of data in businesses uh, so to get into that forum you click on that title there and then you will uh, you will find uh, this window here so to post your feedback you just need to click on add a new discussion topic and once you do that it will uh, open this uh, window for you the first step is to give your response uh, a name so we can say uh, data in business functions and you put in your message or your your views here so let's say for instance you found out that data is also important in uh, the accounting department so we say data in businesses help the accounts department or rather the finance department in budgeting so once you will type in your response uh, you click on this part here of post to forum so once you are finished with your um, your view or your small research on the discussion forum you scroll down and click on post to forum once you click on post to forum uh, you are feedback will have already been sent to the forum and if you need to edit that you have one hour to make those uh, changes and then uh, you are also able to see what other people have uh, have said in that forum so for instance if you want to see what the first person here said uh, on data in business and uh, this is uh, you click on that on this uh, first part here and it will open what that person said on that so this person had uh, their own view on that if you want to respond to that person you simply click on uh, the reply option and then you type in your response and you go to this part here of post to forum uh, thank you very much that is all we are going to cover for today and we hope you enjoy using the St. Paul's University e-learning portal